I would like some advice how to get on with those difficult children. I do understand when your partner comes with two children. That no easy. What do you experience as difficult? These children can be such weak. They complain and mom about all kids of trivial things, especially the daughter. She creates scenes over nothing. She's so annoying. And can you give an example of that you find so annoying? Here, yes. The children are always sneaking for a pet. So my husband brought home a young kitten. I said, oh no. Two children is more than enough. So I insist that the animal be returned immediately. And the daughter began to cry uncontrollably. That sobbing girl make me so crazy. I said to her, stop this nonsense. There are worse things in life than just getting rid of a cat. Yes, that's true. There are worse things in life than getting rid of a cat. For example, that girl lost her mother. You had a mother who was nearly always drunk and who died at a young age. These are four worse things than losing a cat. So I wonder, because sometimes it's easier to cry over small, even trivial things that to cry over the real terrible things. That's really odd. She never cries about her mother's death, but she can cry over nothing at the drop of a hat. Do you find that so old? Yes. I wonder what you did as a girl when you had this difficult family situation. So I wonder how you handled that. As a child, I cried a lot, but never when anyone was watching. So there was no one to comfort you. That must be terribly lonely for a child. And you must uh, have been so brave uh, to go on. Always with this difficult situation. That's true. Usually after a fight I run to my room and I hope that one of the parents would come and comfort me. Or that they would say something affectionate the next day. But that never happened. So I had that experience that no one come to comfort you and you cried a lot when you were alone. <laughs> and now you have such a girl in your house. What does that mean to you? Here, I know I only provide of my basic necessities. I never do anything fun or nice with them. Only the basic necessities that seem to give you hardly any satisfaction either. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking if you could do something fun with the children. How would that relate to you questions you started with about an advice? You know, at the moment I am always the evil one, the one who takes their father away from here. Hmm. That's not a nice role to end up with. That's true. And can you think of some alternatives or can you imagine how you could do something different?
Well, I'm afraid that the children would suggest things that I don't like to do or that I don't want to do. I get that. Children often like things that we do not like so much. So then you risk ending up as the evil one again. That's true. Can think of something you like to do and they maybe has so connection with what the children like. Maybe I can give them a couple of choice among things that I wouldn't mind do. I'll think about it. It's a nice idea and it seems also a feasibly step. When you give that the choice among things you like to do and then they have a choice. Yes, this will make me throw the week. Thank you so much. That's a nice idea. I wish you success with it. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Goodbye.